live from the studios of Coefficient Media in downtown Jackson, Michigan, with a new set and enjoying the pleasant weather. This is the Android App Show, episode number 86. This week, uh, we're going to talk about some scumbag advertisers and uh, some podcasting apps, or maybe just one app, the best one. Cool. Welcome to the Android App Show. The future of the telephone business is bright and rich with promise for the millions of telephone users like yourselves, whose quick acceptance and ready use of each improvement in telephone service has helped make possible an endless chain of accomplishments. What will it be this time? Welcome to the show, everybody. This is the Android App Show, and I'm Dave. And I am Lane. We are in the new studio setup, even newer than it was last week, even though it's the same studio. Yeah, the new, new it is. Studio. Just the new setup. And look <laughs> at this. We're not even using microphones this week. That's right. And you might notice Dave is not switching the video. Oh, yeah. We've got some uh, awesome, some good guy producers. Some producers. Let's go to the <laughs> producer cam. That's right. Oh, the, the look at that. Oh. film of the... Uh, wow. That was... <laughs> That's a, that's a horrible cam. Oh, wow. I mean, the producers are wonderful, beautiful. We just, they couldn't upstage us for no. this initial show here. Well, what do you studio. expect? We're jealous people. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> next, next week, they'll get the HD camera, the yeah, HD treatment. We'll get, some, we'll get some nice lighting on them, too. We might have to get some makeup, though. Yikes. Uh, for me. Come, we put up with me, Dave, Make. though. We can put up with them. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, uh... We don't have a sponsor this week. We don't. That's uh, okay. So the sponsor uh, is uh, viewers like you. Viewers like you. And we're just going to go into the app review. We could say the sponsor is Coefficient Media. That's true. Our own money. <laughs> oh, we got a dust in here, uh, too. The sponsor this week, Dusty Telephone. Dusty Telephone. He's my favorite. He's my favorite uh, Does make regular any... occurrence on the show. There you go. All right. <laughs> well, again, let's get into the app review. Yeah. Then what do you think? Uh, this week we're going to be reviewing Stitcher. Uh, I'm kind of amazed we haven't reviewed this amp yet, mm -hmm. um, but, oh well, I thought I thought we did, but it turns out we did it on the other show, we do the iPad show. iPad uh, show. So, uh, this week though, I wanted to review this because they had an update recently, and they do uh, regular phones and tablet interfaces now. So, let's get right into the <laughs> uh, our new long-range gadget cam. Yeah. <laughs> so, we still have some setting up to do this week, but uh, for right now, we have... Uh, the awesome, awesome tablet view here. So this is your new tablet interface. Uh, I'll get, in, I'll show you what the uh, old uh, phone interface looks like. But you have a nice little navigation here on the left, with a front page that shows uh, news stories as they come in, mm -hmm. and you can click on any of these to listen to an audio podcast uh, that's related to that news entry. So it's, it, this is all curated content. I thought it slid side to side, but it does not. You can click on, uh, let's see, we'll click on this first one. And it just loads up the uh, the standard interface here now. So is this only audio? Yes. Okay. This, it does Still no video. video. It's the old school podcasting format. Yep. There we go, looking good. Cool. You can pause and search through. It has a 30 second backtrack uh, feature, and you can star entries or vote them up and down. Uh, but what I'm most interested in here is the favorites. That's right, favorites. You can create uh, stations to group together mm -hmm. podcasts. I love that. Or you can keep anything just underneath the, uh, the favorites heading. And then all your podcasts on here are automatically updated. And whenever you listen to a podcast, it'll like empty out the bubble that's right below the title. Mm -hmm. uh, and say you're right in the middle of the podcast and you're like, you know what? Uh, this tablet is great, but I'm going to start working out, so I want to switch to my phone. Mm -hmm. uh, you can just pause it, pick up your phone, launch wow. the Stitcher app on here, no way. and it will automatically uh, pick right up where you left off. Whew. So not only that, um, but it's not just limited to Android. So yeah. they also release apps for things like you know iPods and iPhones, uh, but the syncing works across all devices. So you get that... Uh, you know, the goodness that even if you're, you know, you got like an Android tablet and an iPod Touch, uh, then you can still keep up uh, with all your stuff. And it truly 
is the name Stitcher imply as the name Stitcher implies it stitches all your shows together into one continual feed. Yeah, so it just it just keeps it going. And you can play it like a like a playlist basically, just the most recent ones or whatever your favorites in order or Yep. It's pretty cool. And here's a little bit of a you see like you can see on the tablet you have the uh, navigation along the side here. Uh, but on the phone, it just displays what's in your main pane right here. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's and these are the same version. They don't have uh, different compiled apps. So what they've done here, at least this is what I suspect, is they're using the fragment system uh, that lets you reuse the piece of content, and then for tablets, add extra uh, little navigation options there. Uh, but some of the other things they have, uh, live radio. Though I checked around here. Uh, for local stations, yeah. they didn't have anything. Uh, but you can browse uh, by state and location if you want to listen to something someplace else. Well, they have like the public radio ones around here, don't they? Like in Lansing. Uh, they might have Lansing, but I looked yeah. for Ann Arbor. I listened to a station out of oh, Ann Arbor, yeah. and they just didn't have it. Mm. Uh, but you can go over here to On Demand and go through all kinds of different categories, uh, you, don't, you know, depending on what you're interested in. Uh, and they also have an option down here to uh, list it by show. So they have all their popular shows. Cool. And they have a handy search bar going clear across the top. On the, uh, just to switch back over to the, the phone version, they don't have the same kind of search bar. It's just like a little search key hmm. that you click on. Voice and search? It changes it. Yep. You can Seriously? click on that and say, oop, Android app show. And there you go. There's our shows right on there. Wow. Android Tech Show. There's the ones with the app reviews. And the oh. other one should be on here somewhere. Beautiful. But that's cool. See, let's pull up the Android Tech Show just to show you how easy this is. Live from the studios of Call of Duty Media. Boy, that sounds familiar. <laughs> so, and again, uh, it just downloads it when you need it. Uh, it keeps all your subscriptions synced up. And keeps your place saved. I mean, that's yeah. the kind of feature that's only being introduced lately on uh, some of these newer platforms, you mm -hmm. know, for books and stuff like that and for movies now. Uh, but Stitcher's been offering that place saving feature pretty much the whole time. Yeah, and back in the day when this first came out, we actually had Stitcher on the show for the app show back in the day. Yeah. The iPhone app show. <laughs> uh, when they first came out with their thing. And they do, they even do some cool things. Well, cool depending on who you talk to but they host they store the audio themselves so you know you have a fast connection to their servers and they also use that technology where it can upgrade or downgrade the audio quality depending on the speed of your connection which is nice it really yeah. is especially when you're on you know some of these data limited yep. uh, plans which apparently now is every plan there yes. is no unlimited unless you're <laughs> A Sprint customer, and you don't have a fast enough connection to uh, worry about <laughs> running into a limit anyway. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, yeah. Apparently now, if you're on an AT and T plan, uh -huh. I don't, did you yeah. hear about that? I heard about it. They took him to small claims court. Really? And won. Yes. Huh. Yeah. So the guy got cut a check uh, for whatever it was the uh, <laughs> the back stuff <laughs> is. So. That's funny. You can't form a class to sue AT and T, but you can take them to small claims court and get your money for being rate limited huh. on your unlimited plan. Huh. So, I'll uh, I'll keep working on Dave to see if he'll do that. That'll make for a, an interesting story. Not gonna happen. No, not enough time in the day, huh? I'll call you when it does. <laughs> cool. Uh, but yeah, I love this app. Uh, I of course, you know, we have our uh, podcast listed in there. All of our podcasts are listed in there. We don't make any money. That, they sponsor some podcasts. I mean, if you're a frequent listener yeah. of podcasts, you've probably heard of Stitcher before. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not paying us to do this uh, nope. review or anything. I just, just think it's pretty cool that they finally released a tablet interface. Yeah, that's cool. So I had to throw down and do a review. Yeah, once again, that's Stitcher, and you can find it in the Play Market Store thing place. Yeah, it's called Google Play now. You can find it in the Google Play. <laughs> and That's so silly. And uh, <laughs> it's free. Yeah. It doesn't cost you a dime. Cool. All right. So that is it for our app reviews this week. Uh, we do have some stuff to talk about, though. Yeah, an interesting news topic, uh, scumbag advertisements. 
Ooh, not good. We don't like hearing about that. Yeah, I recently read an article on PC World that uh, and talked about this, and I've experienced this before. Uh, we talked about it a little bit in a previous show. I think it was episode 80 that was uh, covering root kits, uh, and these things that these ads come with apps, and you might not necessarily know that these ads were installed uh, with the application that you installed because a lot of developers don't let you know. Uh, but then all of a sudden you'll start getting uh, pop-ups that come up in your notification bar saying download this or why mm -hmm. don't you click on this for a great deal and you're like what the heck happened do i have spam or whatever no it's just a scumbag advertiser Ugh. so uh again there's no in way to know notifications bar yeah so right where you get your new text so messages it, it emails. just looks like you got some spam yeah yeah that's crazy and it, it fits right up there with what if all, you click all the important on it? stuff it opens up in a browser or, oh, or whatever. But it doesn't tell you what app it came from? No, um, but you can download uh, a couple apps uh, that will scan your phone and let you know what apps are utilizing these kind Ooh, of features. the perpetrators. Yeah, it won't let you know specifically where that advertisement came from, um, but we're talking about a limitation of yeah. Android. Yep. You know, it's not, it's not their fault. Hmm. Um, but I have links in the show notes, so you're definitely going to want to read the show notes for this. But the first one is called Ad Free Android. Ad Free is one word, and then Android. Uh, this one requires a rooted device, uh, mm -hmm. which you're going to get a little bit more of a benefit if you have something that's installed on there, like maybe from the manufacturer, you know, that mm -hmm. has some of these advertisements. God, I hope they don't come through like that. But, uh, but the other one is called Add-ons Detector. And uh, we reviewed that again in episode 80, uh, and this one doesn't require root. Uh, both of these mm -hmm. will scan your phone, tell you what's up, and, uh, and let you know, you know who the violators are. Unfortunately, it's going to list some apps that uh, maybe aren't, like they use the framework, but they yeah. aren't using that specific feature. I see. Um, but it's, it's very tempting for developers. You know, yeah, it's free money. Well, in, on Android, I think it's like 7%. Uh, revenue compared to iOS for comparable apps. Huh. So, like, if you're putting advertising or whatever yeah. on iOS, you get more click-throughs compared to Android. Hmm. So, they're starting to come up with more creative ways, yeah. which, you know, it's it's good or bad. Uh, everybody likes free apps, but nobody likes how that happens. <laughs> <laughs> so, you don't want to know how the sausage is made. Well, yeah. Well, we're finding that the, this whole argument with the privacy, right, over the... Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Over Google violating it supposedly and everything, and Facebook violating your privacy uh, by tracking you. A lot of people don't realize that's how ads work. That's the price you pay to use the most amazing services in the world. Yeah, that's why Facebook is free because they track everything you do. Yep. So that's why Google's free as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and just to make Dave a little bit more smug, mm -hmm. iOS users don't have to put up with this kind of stuff um, because it's against the rules, and Apple will reject your app if you have like pop-ups and stuff. Yeah, because uh, these things they, they're even installing shortcuts to your home screen, Ooh. like an app that you've already installed, so that huh. when you click on it, it's an ad. It takes you to uh, whatever website. Pre-installed, whatever. Like bloatware. Yeah, well, it's it puts a shortcut right on there. So, it hmm. I don't think it's a, a full installation of another application. Uh -huh. It's just an ad. You click on it, and then it would take you right to. Oh, the so website. when you download an app. It adds an ad on your yes. screen also? Yes. Kind of like a uh, helpful AOL uh, oh, icon yeah. on your desktop. It's you know, bundled together. It. It's all yeah. bundled. Well, it's, it's for your you know, benefit. Yeah, you'll right? want to go there. <laughs> Ridiculous. So that's kind of, that's kind of don't you think that's scumbagish, right? Yes. I don't know. I agree. I just feel bad that uh, iOS users don't have to put up with it. Yeah, I feel real bad. You guys should enjoy all the great things that we get. Uh huh. So a little bit of a uh, lighter discussion, though. Kevin Rose has yeah. joined Google. Podcaster, boom. Yeah. Uh, Taking it of, home. He's really one of the innovators. You know, we'll yeah. ignore Leo for a while, but like they, they did a, a long-running They were one of Dignation, the most popular you know. podcasts. Yeah. <laughs> you probably heard of it before. Yeah. So he joined Google, and then magically they banned the uh, Reddit app from Google Play. Oh, you think that's related? I kind of... You can't think anything else. You know, is it a coincidence that Kevin Rose just joined Google and all of a sudden you can't read it anymore? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, there's alternatives on there. Uh, they're, they're saying that they banned it because of the not safe for work content. Uh, because sense. there are some pretty steamy, sexually explicit r subreddits. Ooh. 
Um, but don't they realize that, you know... That's what the internet is. Yeah. I mean, the internet is for porn, right? No. <laughs> Everybody's Not seen the all. video. That's, that's what it is. So Our producers are laughing. Yeah. They know what we're talking about. <laughs> Not... No. But, I mean, they have browsers and stuff on uh, the market. Yeah. And you can visit porn on that. There's so. a browser pre-installed on every phone. Yeah, exactly. Wow. So just think of the possibilities that you could do yourself. You know, but that didn't mm -hmm. sound right. Uh, but yeah, so they pulled this off. I think it was because it was easily accessible, though. It's something like 25 or 30 subreddits down. Uh, you could see the uh, the offenders. So yeah. But I still have them installed on my devices. Fortunately, uh, it was just a ban from the market. It wasn't pulling it from devices. Uh, right. Google also has the ability to uninstall apps from your phone automatically yep. if they want to, and they didn't go that far. So mm -hmm. it is what it is. That's. I'm sure they'll get that fixed. Yeah. Now I need to find another uh, Reddit reader that works on tablets and phones. I mean, I can't. Bacon reader is good, but. If you know of one, good. feel free to tweet us yeah, we with have your answer. We would love to know what other Android apps. Yeah, if you recommend one. I think I'll probably review uh, some next week mm -hmm. like and, and, and tell everybody why they're not as good as the other one that's banned. So cool. I think that's all we had for That is it for this today. week. Yeah. Uh, thanks. thanks for watching the show, everybody. It's been a pleasure. Our new studio here, our new producers in the background there. Let's get a producer shot once again. <laughs> oh, look yeah. at that. Chilling back there with the nasty cam. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. So uh, thanks for watching. We, we got some bugs to work out. We got some, you know, things to smooth over. We got some microphones to see if these sound. Let us know. Let us know what you think, if the microphones sound good or if you want us to bring back the big giant mics again. Yeah, with the... Um, getting in the way all the time. Yeah. yeah we we kind of like this. It looks better. It looks uh, I think so. I like it too. I like the freedom. Yeah. Freedom. So if you want to keep up to date with us, uh, we post on Twitter. Uh, please mm. follow us there. It's twitter.com slash Android App Show. Right. And we also are on YouTube. So that is youtube.com slash the Android App Show. That's right. The is important. The Android App Show. Perfect. And if you like this kind of content, if you're a podcasting uh, kind of fellow and you want to find more, uh, go to Blueberry.com. That's Blueberry with no E's. You're going to find some more independently produced stuff that we really like yep. and we think you will too. Cool. Very cool. Thanks for joining us this week, everybody. And uh, we'll talk to you guys later. See ya. Not safe for work. Not safe. <laughs> Beautiful. Awesome. That's a wrap. Now you can uh, stop the recording. One thing I did notice, one thing I did notice, um, we were.